tell this little story, but I will do it again for my sweet mommy, Gloria, who came today. Oh, it's creepy cry. chapter that they read and so this marked the I think Melaine took this picture this marked when they finished the Book of Mormon just before they passed two months before so dad was in the Air Force this is a picture in there and after he left the Air Force he just couldn't get planes out of his mind so he decided to build them and he built model airplanes and he would compete with them he would cut out the wood, and he'd sand it, and he'd paint it, and he'd go to all the hobby stores to look for the right size engine to lift that plane. And my job as a, a little girl is we would go, and I asked some of you guys yesterday, so I know you're like, I already know this story. There is a field just east of Jordan Commons in Weston Mount Jordan Middle School in Sandy, Utah. Raise your hand if you know where I'm talking about. It's okay if you don't. You can picture this, this big grass field. Well, that was my dad's practice field to practice flying his planes. And he would often have me go with him. And my job was to catch the plane. This is him from the Air Force. I forgot to tell you that, too. And so my mom would tell me my secret mission was to bring him home in time for dinner. And sometimes we'd make it, sometimes not. But she never got upset over that. But I remember this one day, and I don't remember my exact age, between the age of 8 and 10, so maybe I was 9. But um, it was pretty windy that day. And up on that plane, and I could see that it was coming down, and I ran, and my little legs just weren't fast enough, and it crashed. And if you know model airplanes, they're not the strongest, right? And it, it shattered. And I think the engine stayed okay, but you know, the wing shattered, and I knew it was irreparable. And my dad came over to me, and I, oh, he's to be so mad. He wasn't mad. And he knelt down because so I'm like crying and he touches my back. He says, Oh, Mitchell, my nickname. It's okay. Now I can build a new one. The lesson I learned that day is things can be repaired, hearts can be healed. People matter more than things. That's a lesson of a lifetime. This this little bust of Christ we've had for about 30 years. I think we got this as a wedding gift, my husband and I. Well, something you may not be able to see from where you're sitting. This is one of the kids, you know, how kids play ball in the house. Yeah, it shattered. And so, I mean, it shattered not completely unrepairable, but you can tell what they want. Like, there's, we put it back together. And that was probably about 10 years ago that it shattered. And so I just keep it. I know it's not the most beautiful. You know, it's, it's getting old. But this kind of represents to me, hearts can be healed. <clears throat> this little angel I've had for about 20 years. So she's not the best either. Her wings have kind of fallen off. It's given to me by a student. I used to teach young mothers high school. So I just taught students who were pregnant. And they were coming back to school to get their diploma or their GED. They had aged out. And I had one student, her father passed when she was 12, because she got pregnant. She had a baby, and when she was 14, she got pregnant again. And when she was 16, she married the guy, who's the same father. And I, I just remember being so frustrated for like, pull it together. And on her third pregnancy, she was bedridden, 
And so the district hired me to go visit her in her home to help me unpack it so the time they could do to make up credit. Oh, you guys, I apologize, but thanks for being here. So I walked into her little part. I said, Mrs. Porcelli, I need to tell you something. She said, I've been working hard and I get to go through the temple with my husband. And that's when she gave me this. I did, not, I did my job. I didn't do anything extra. I was paid to go there. But this has meant a lot to me, to teach me how to look at people differently and to give them a chance and to have confidence in them. They're going to make it back. Their hearts are going to be turned and healed. Hearts will turn to the 